My husband and I have been blessed to have two uh, daughters graduate from North Reading High School. They're both on successful paths. And I have a junior uh, entering the high school this fall. So we're driving back up that hill for a couple more years. Um, a fun fact is I'm a survivor of having chaperone three North Reading Middle School eighth grade week long DC trips. So I think that's, that's like one of my best uh, best things to boast about. Um, so upon uh, Rich Walner's recent appointment to the select board, he enthusiastically passed the torch to me uh, to chair this committee. And it's really an exciting time to be able to, to chair this. Um, the Social Service Action Team was created in 2012 as part of the Community Impact Team. And since that time, many dedicated committee volunteers and staff liaisons have sought to address quality of life issues that affect all North Reading residents through education, awareness, advocacy, and outreach. The mission of the SSAT is to create a positive environment which promotes healthy aging for all residents in North Reading. And the emphasis is improving quality of life for all by creating community connection opportunities on an intergenerational level. So there are three SSAT core values. Um, one, people want to have the opportunity to lead active, healthy lives in their community. And it's important to remember we're all aging. Um, and from the moment we are born, we're aging in community. Number two, people want to stay connected in the community. And number three, people want to have purpose, regardless of age or ability, whether they're nine or whether they're 90. So the select board recently endorsed the implementation of an age-friendly initiative as outlined by AARP. And considering the major demographic change in town over the next 10 to 15 years, the Council on Aging and Social Service Action Team highly support this plan. Uh, currently, the town's elder population, which is considered 60 years and up, is about 25% of our community. And this population is expected to increase since people are living longer, birth rates are declining, and that's a nationwide wide trend in the next coming decades. So over the past several weeks, the Council on Aging and Social Service Action Team have been very busy filling out a membership application which will be submitted to the TA and select board. There's no cost for the membership, and when the application is submitted to AARP, which is a national affiliate for the World Health Organization, once accepted, North Reading will join more than 100 Massachusetts cities and towns in this global movement. So many folks in North Reading have already been working diligently in their own departments, committees, and groups to create an age-friendly North Reading. Um, once our application is accepted, the next step is to create a three-year community-wide action plan which will allow us to increase collaboration among these departments and community groups and it will give us an access to um, a wealth of resources and grants. So the implementation of the plan can produce wonderful results uh, in alignment with the master plan that's already in progress in town. and. Um, the results can be very successful and provide us with affordable housing options, a walkable downtown, and an intergenerational center which will provide better space and allow for increase in programming for North Reading youth and adults. So there's a solid foundation in place to move forward with this initiative and I want to thank all of the SSAT volunteers, especially for the years of hard work, dedication, and commitment. And I look forward to working with everybody and look forward to seeing what progress we make in the future. Um, next, we're going to give a uh, overview of our North Reading Youth Substance Use Prevention Coalition, again, longest name. And everybody should have on their tables a copy of our year two annual report. I'm going to invite our school resource officer, Detective Lucci, to come up and give us a little overview. But just to explain why it says year two, as you may know, we received a five-year grant from um, the federal government. We are in currently in the middle of year three. So our year three will end September 30th, which is why you have year two there. We, we haven't wrapped up our activities, and they are ongoing. So Detective Lucci is going to give you a little overview of some of the things we did year two, but you have a really thorough list in front of you as well. All right. How's everyone doing? 
I'm Paul Luthi, School Resource Officer, uh, Detective in North Reading. I'm also a resident in town, so I live here. Um, I did graduate 2004 from the high school. Um, so for our year two annual review, 2017 to 2018 it covers, uh, we donated over 1,700 in prevention material to North Reading Middle School Health Department. Uh, we initiated a book study relating to increasing uh, protective factors. Uh, the coalition donated 10 parent resources to the Flint Memorial Library. For advocacy, we attended Cash Kids Advocacy Day on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. We advocated to the state attorney generals to strengthen laws related to THC and CBD edibles. Uh, we sponsored Angst, a presentation on mental health for parents and students. Uh, we coordinated free naloxone training to public and school in all school uh, nurses. Uh, the coalition graduated CADCA's National Coalition Academy, conducted core measurement survey, hosted a resource table at the Apple Festival and Farmers Markets, provided monthly topical articles in North Reading transcript and patch, presented in plain sight to 65 North Reading public school educators, uh, partnered with Elder Services to provide information on opiates to community seniors, and co-sponsored Parent University, hosted vaping in plain sight workshops, and we provided support for Linfield's Developing Coalition. Uh, one thing I do want to add is, this is the year I started, and I didn't really know about coalitions and how they worked, but um, I just can't thank everyone enough and all the hard work everyone does doing this. I really see the community come together when I go to these meetings. So I just want to thank, I, I do think it's a huge resource that's really helping the kids in our town. I grew up here, so uh, I definitely can speak a little bit about that. So. <laughs> really big year for our coalition and a couple of other things I just want to make sure that the community is aware of. Um, we actually had a really significant um, hire made this year and I'll, I'll explain why. So Laura Miranda, if you don't mind standing up. Laura is, <laughs> Laura is the town's mental health and substance abuse cl uh, clinician. And the reason this is so important, and this is a really unique model under Chief Murphy's vision, is that for the first time ever in North Reading, we have prevention, treatment and intervention, and enforcement all in the same house. We all work in the police department. It has facilitated communications exponentially. Uh, when I might hear or a kid might come to myself or just be <coughs> looking for help, and they don't want to speak necessarily to a guidance counselor, we have an alternative for them. We also have a resource for families after um, an overdose or after a traumatic event. That's a significant change, and we're hoping that that is actually a prevention measure. Because as we know, sometimes, um, well, a lot, when any overdose, but any traumatic event happens, it doesn't just happen to the victim, it happens to the family. So we're thrilled to be able to offer uh, resources to the families in that way, and we are looking forward to the benefits that that will have. The other thing that happened is that although this is our third year funded by the federal government, it was our fifth year of existing. And so we wanted to just recognize um, we had a celebration a couple months ago in April when we had our 5th year birthday, but a couple of members were not able to be there. The federal government requires at least 12 sector representatives to be on a coalition. I'm happy to tell you we have over 35 members on our drug coalition, that's significant. But three in particular uh, we wanted to recognize for their support over the past five years. Uh, so if I could ask Amber to come up and uh, we want to recognize our co-action teams for supporting us because we're not operating in a bubble in a vacuum and so this is just to recognize the K-12 action team. Thank you. Would you mind coming up and we want to recognize the work that the social services action team has done to not just support us but support the those over the age of 18 which our federal grant only really covers 18 and under but it's very important to us as well. Thank you very much. We, um, we're very support, supported by NORCAM, and um, NORCAM was not able to be at our birthday celebration, so I'm going to invite Dave, who's behind the camera right now. Dave, you said, if you don't mind coming, I'll meet you halfway. <laughs> so thank you to NORCAM. Good Neighbor Awards. This happens every other year 
And the way it works is we put out a call to the community for open nominations. Uh, the only requirement is that the person has to really live in the community or operate in the community. And I'm happy to tell you that we had three recipients, and thank you to Chief Stats for coordinating that this year. I really appreciate that. Um, Joe Polito was nominated and awarded the um, 2019 Good Neighbor Award, but he was not able to be here. He's on vacation. So I just want to recognize him, and we'll make sure his award comes at another time. So to prevent our, uh, present our next award, prevent, it's my head, Laura Miranda. I'm so excited to give this award to what sounds like a very special woman. So this woman, Janet, was nominated by her neighbors, Nadia and Dimitri, which she just found out this morning, which is so wonderful. So Janet and Nadia live on the same street. Janet advocated <coughs> for Nadia and Dimitri to make their house wheelchair accessible at town meeting. She volunteers for the senior house, baking cookies and making craftsmanship goods for seniors. She volunteers to drive seniors to the places they need to go. And she provides her home as a temporary shelter for dogs who need a permanent home. Janet Chevalini. Chevalini? Close enough. <laughs> the whole time I was repeating it. Janet, you can come on up and accept her award.
I need some help, you have somewhere to give uh, some resources to give them. I just also want to add that Laura is not only working with children and family and drug crisis. Thank God for Chief Murphy having the insight again and hiring Laura. She's been very successful in working with elders in town, veterans in town, and uh, please feel free to call Laura, call one of us. Uh, she's doing a great job. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. you that we tripled the amount of drugs that we took back from families uh, voluntarily in the past year. We went from something like 212 pounds to over 700 pounds getting taken out of the homes voluntarily where people came and dropped that off. That's extremely important for their safety but also for the reduction of uh, access to substances. So if you want to keep that on your, on your fridge, please do so. And uh, the last thing is a P3 card. It looks like a little cell phone. Our federal grant pays for an anonymous tip line, but now you're able to text your tips in. Um, you can add as much or as little information as you want, but it allows for two-way dialogue. In addition to that, I am completely unable to remember license plate numbers. You can take a picture of it or a video of something that's concerning in your neighborhood, upload it to your tip, and it goes directly to all the detectives immediately, and they can engage in two-way dialogue with you. You remain anonymous, they identify themselves. But that is open to all ages, and we encourage you to download the P3 app. It's free. We're paying for it. Um, it's the blue one, not the green one, so that's why we have it in blue. But we really encourage everybody to do that and pass that on to any other North Reading neighbor that you know of. We put additional resources over here. And again, thank you to the Republican Town Committee for your sponsorship. Have a wonderful afternoon, and please eat more. Please eat more. Please eat more. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.